just now boarding the Quantum of the Seas. I'm just going to show you guys a little glimpse of what's really going on. Looking nice. So, uh, getting on board was really easy. Just got to have all your paperwork. You know, it's on your phone. Everything is pretty easy. Just show your cell, cell pads. Oh, you, sorry, your C pads. And make sure you have all your documents and be ready to go. So let's go. We're going on back here. Just gonna show you out a little bit. We're gonna go straight on through here. See it this is for our briefing right here. We're gonna be briefed real quick. What about the safety thing? Just us uh, still going through bars and all. So instead of instead of doing our muster station like we usually do it, it's different. You get briefed when you get on the ship. How about that? Pass card. That's your room key. You can also can be found on your set sail pass. That's your boarding pass when you came on board. That's good, though. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we do stress to the. So now we are at our room. Um, here we go. You do you go here and you get your key to your room. Oh, there it is. And then you open the door, and this key, get the key out. is your lifeline. Once you lose your lifeline, it's just like on a Survivor. He said, once your fire is out, it's over. So you keep your fire, your sea pass with you. Now, most of you probably traveled on cruises before, so this is not our first cruise. We're pretty much veterans, but I'm so excited for an 18 night cruise. Come on now. Let's go into the room and see what we're looking at. Okay, Andre is in the way, but. Ooh, 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 ooh. I almost look like we had more than a room. I was about to say, you know, like the big room. This is nice and cozy. I'm gonna have to give my husband a kiss because he always makes travel fun and so do you thank you hon he just saying that i'm gonna open this up oh my look at here guys hawaii is one of the most prettiest places We haven't been on a beach, even though we were here for a couple of days, and that's okay. We're gonna get enough sun and fun, and we're here. I mean, it took us less than 15 minutes to get on the ship mm -hmm. with everything that you needed to do. At first, I thought this was gonna be hard with the documents and all, but it's right on your phone. Easy access, bada bing, bada bum. Now it's time to There we go. Okay, guys, it is our second full day on one of the seas. It is an 18-night cruise as you have heard me say in the beginning. So let's see what the weather is today. Today it's a little bit cloudy and rainy. Um, this ship's capacity is 4,000 and some people, and yet it is not that full. I just wanna give you a peek and see. My guess is it's about half full. Yes, yeah, about half full. Um, because of it, it's rainy and cloudy, not many people are out. It's actually eight o'clock, I think. What time is it, honey? It's quarter of nine. Oh, quarter of nine. So I'm still behind. I have not caught up with the hours yet. But there you have it. It is a light day. So, and we have, I think, five days at sea. So let's see how it turns out. Oh, yeah. By the way, the food has not been exceptional. The food has been um, very bland. Lunch. And I haven't had lunch yet, but breakfast and dinner has been bland. Not that it's not good cooked well, it's just very bland. So we're gonna take a look and see what the food looks like when we get inside. Washy, washy, washy. They added this when you come in and wash your hands instead of squirting it with a little bit of um, hand sanitizer. So now we wash like this. So let's just take a look at the food. This is the deli. We've seen food on chips so many times before, so I'm not going to do a long record. How are you? Mm. 
Here's some international flavors. So we have some bacon and eggs and tomato, grilled tomatoes, corned beef hash. Up, oh, ma. You want a banana? <laughs> a little bit of desserts. No, they have put on nothing but beautiful displays of desserts. So, one of my favorite desserts is Jello. Well, not Jello. It needs to be Jello. Some of you know that by the previous videos. That cake is a decoration. Trey Lachie. And of course, ice cream tonight. And one of the cutest cakes. A pig, a bear, and another bear. Or, or all three of those bears. Hmm, another quick note, or a plus to have, is a walkie-talkie. Because you don't always have to be on your phone, but your partner may be somewhere else on the ship. And if you say, Hey, over. He'll answer, or she will answer. Just doing a quick video, letting the people know it's good to have a walkie-talkie. Over. over. See? You don't need your phone. And I'll tell you a little bit about Boom in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Day six. Even though the wind is blowing, it's uh, much calmer than it has been. Really nice, gorgeous, clear day. Day six on another side. This is day seven in Papaya Tea. to the Tahiti Treasure Island. Um, they gave me a little teeny weeny thing. Um, I'm gonna take it out of my hand, but we'll tell you. Yeah, that's the way it looks. So we'll tell you about it as we go. Thanks for joining us. Back to compliment this part of it. It's raining a little bit. That's a bug. It's actually a beautiful place, I guess, if it came on a dry day. But today is quite wet. Here in Tahiti. This is a three hour and 30 minute um, excursion. Um, this is our second stop. The first stop was in a little, under a little hut where we got to see um, really nothing but the ocean and, of course, black sand if you haven't seen black sand before. By the way, it's called Tahiti National Treasure Island. And I will let you know that this is worth your pennies. Beautiful spot here in Tahiti, Polynesian area where they speak mostly French. And of course there was ducks and chickens. 
Um, excuse me, Miss. Hmm. This is like more like black sand and rock. And there's my husband over there. <laughs> he heard you. <laughs> he literally called back a moment ago, he but did. I guess you heard that. <laughs> We're coming to the end of this little spot. Um, it's just interesting. But there isn't many videos on uh, this tour and I wanted to share the part of the tour with you so that you'll know what to expect. Is it worth it? Or just hang on the island or at the port with the ship. Okay, I had to turn this sideways. Look at this. This is another stop. We went to this restaurant here. Sorry if I'm moving too fast. I just wanted you to see. Inside of the restaurant that we stopped at. Hey, welcome the to Tahiti. This is uh, the Gogan restaurant, which is uh, about almost uh, 50 kilometers from Papete. It's been here over 50 years. Still owned by the uh, original owners, Roger Gowan and his uh, uh, local Chinese wife by the name of Juliet. It's a very big spot that can handle um, uh, even festivities, uh, about 600 people at one time. Most of the time would be uh, the local people but it holds uh, restaurant uh, lunches for people who come around the island. All right. And uh, uh, you got either uh, buffet style of cooking, mm -hmm. or if you want some uh, uh, some Tahitian food, uh, or you want some French cooking at the same time. Not a French cook, but a local Tahitian who has learned how to cook French way. All right, well so, thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Right. Part of the benefit of the tour is to give us a little snack and this is a ch uh, banana chocolate I believe it is and Andre is having the chocolate and he's also having a beer so they offered us uh, different kinds of uh, drinks so there you have it. Area compared to the outer uh communities that we came from. So Venus Point. Point Venus, yeah, Venus is Point. So you can walk down, I'll be right with you. Okay. <laughs> this is the fourth and final stop on our Tahiti National Treasure excursion. So the sun came out. At first it looked a little bit discouraging because of the um, the sun wasn't out and it was raining in the first on the first stop where we were but as you can see the day turn is turning out really beautiful let's ask Andre what do you think so far of our little time out well some of it's been very nice there's been some great views and all of that a little more bus ride than I was anticipating but at the end of the day there were some really good things to see all right, you heard it from the one who actually clicked the button and chose this this to do, right? But it, it, what I noticed here in Hawaii is the different trees that they have, the roots of them, they're just so gorgeous. And it's like they tell the story um, of how long um, this place has been here. I'm not talking about Hawaii necessarily, I'm talking about the world. It's just so beautiful. But let me stop talking and just share 
some views with you. The bus ride um, or the tour is, I told you guys earlier, three hours and 30 minutes. And our tour guide, Bernie, talked the entire time telling us about money and schools and a little bit of everything. Oh, and if you ever know, this is called Black Sand. People over there playing volleyball. turned out to be real pleasant. I'm really happy, surprised. Next time I'll turn the camera sideways, guys. I apologize for recording upwards when most people record the wide angle. Look at the little big rooster. Mm. Gonna go into their little store and see what they have. We stop at each place for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Um, and this is going to conclude our little tour. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We'll see so, you. we are in this beautiful room, the red room. I don't know what it's called. And we, the two of us should be sitting in that chair. In those chairs, this is the two of us. But it's reserved for somebody else. Instead, we are sitting here at the big table. And um, we usually sit somewhere else. We don't even eat in the dining room because on this particular cruise, Quantum of the Seas, the food have been bland. It has been, out of all Royal Caribbean cruises that we've been on, this has been the worst. Um, and I hate to say that, but it has been because the food is just not great. Everything we've tasted has been bland. Tonight we ordered ribs they have three types of steaks the new york strip steak and there's a couple others so we're going to have steak and we're going to try the ribs and see what that's all about it's particularly cold um we're in tahiti really nice um there was something else i want to tell you guys and for some reason i can't remember what it is um what not to do when you're cruising I'll have to figure it out and come back to you. We are heading into Morea, the beautiful Morea, just so you could see. Day eight. Hey guys, we're on the More Moore tour, and it's a really beautiful place. So I'm just going to turn the camera around. Nice. The tour guide was speaking and telling all about this area, but guess what? I was sleeping. Is it worth the coins for this one? It is. I think it was a hundred and something dollars per person. On this island, there's 20,000 plus people. And there's only 20 cops. Safe area to live. Um, no crime. So I just wanted to share that note with you guys. Pretty nice. You know, we rode on this bus. video I do apologize but you'll see mostly stills because I didn't want this video to be too long so I'm it's just gonna be mostly stills so I hope you enjoy don't forget to like leave a comment if you want and do subscribe to my channel thanks for joining me as we do our tour in Mo'o Ray so I just had a conversation with a person who can make something happen they said that it wasn't that the food wasn't fresh, it's just that processing. The processing of the meaning after they prepared, have cooked it, 
right? Because you know on the ships, it's a lot of people, so they cook things over and over. Well, they cooked it over and over too many times. The heat lamp too long. And so they're gonna talk, but I, everywhere I've been, Windjammer, at 270, um, the solarium, everywhere I've been, I have had to complain about the food because if it ain't one thing wrong with it, something else is wrong with it. So they have my number, my room number, like five times. So I'm not, I don't think I'm the only one complaining, but maybe I am, but if I am, something is getting done. And we'll see, and I'll get back to you on that. Thanks for joining me. Oh, don't forget to hit that like button. Because I'm keeping it real with y'all. In real time, real. Ray is pulling out the raw chair for me to eat in. And I'm all, yes, thank you. And I'm all too happy to sit royalty. Get yourself up. Okay, I'm going as far as I can. As, and check this out. The king gets to sit down in a royal chair as well. Yes, please. There you go. Oh, that's so sweet. How do you feel? Perfect. How do you feel, King? Babe, the camera's on you. Oh, I didn't know that. I feel okay. fine. The King is humble. Thank you. And I'm not sure where to put Is there some place over there, babe? <laughs> it's probably brand new. Man. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she beautiful? She is <laughs> And I am blushing with tears, like I was saying. We're sitting in royal chairs. So, thanks for joining us as we do this quick review. Um, just a little fun on the Royal Caribbean, Quantum of the Seas. Tonight we dressed up, dressed to impress. What do you think, ladies? I tried. Um, Thank you, hon. And that's why he's singing because I had started, um, you know, I don't know, just um, I had a little bit to drink. So let's see what's on the menu. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, this is our uh, day 16, and it is one of our last stops. It is Numea Chaldea, here on the Quantum of the Seas. Just want you guys to see what it looks like. And that's just before we dock. You ever felt like you look fabulous? I feel like I look fabulous, and that's why I'm fine. Oh, that's why I'm all fabulous. It looks really good, and this is a casino.